Today, I'm going to react to Robert Downey Jr.'s watch collection. Iron Man, for f**k's sake. Before we start this video, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers before the end of this year. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can now become a member and get exclusive content, such as live streams, member-only chats, and much more. This will help us massively making more, and above all, better content. I've always felt like you can learn a lot about a man if he opens up his jewelry box. It might be chokers, tiaras, little ringlets. In my case, it's largely watches. As it should be. <laughs> I think by the time we've gone through this arbitrary watch collection of mine, you'll know as much about me as anybody on earth. So let's begin. I absolutely agree with what Iron Man is saying. You can tell a lot about a person when you look at someone's wrist. So the first watch you see here is actually a Bretling Seawolf. Not your normal Seawolf. You can see on the dial say Pathfinder. And at nine o'clock, you see a military crest. And Bretling is known for making small batches of watches for military units. Really, really cool. This is a Jaeger. This I wore in Iron Man 2 and it has the open back. That's a heck of a watch. Probably my best watch. Jaeger Le Coult, incredible watchmaker. And the watch he's showing here is absolutely incredible. Suits Iron Man quite well because it's a big, big case. A case made out of full ceramic with a size of 44 millimeter. That's a big, big watch. An in-house produced Tourbillon, a GMT function, date function, absolutely insane watch. Love that. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is an Omega. Yeah, that's an Omega. That's a lovely timepiece. It's very sporty. This is so cool. This is my first ever luxury watch. The Omega Speedmaster Professional. It's a big watch again, 42 millimeter. It's kind of flat and therefore the profile on your wrist is quite big. It is one of the most important watches in the history. The first watch on the moon. There's so many limited editions and so many special variations of this watch. I'm so happy to see that Iron Man stayed with the original. Funny fact, the watch is manual wound, so every morning you need to wind up the watch. Fair play. This is a Rolex, but it's kind of black and shiny. You can't go wrong with a Rolex. You can't go wrong with a Rolex, and that's correct. But you can go wrong with a customized Rolex. Can you tell us about it? I can't. I got myself and a, a buddy of mine black Rolexes for his birthday for some reason. I guess I needed one too. Now, I'm not going to give off to George Bamford because what he's done in the industry is significant. But I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. I'm not a big fan of customizing watches. Keep a watch original. I have a lot of respect for Bamford, how he fought against absolutely every single brand, and particularly how he fought against Stack Hoyer. George, you've done an incredible job. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> This is the Green Money Rolex. Green Money Rolex, boy! What we see here is a Rolex Submariner Hulk. They don't call it the Green Money Rolex. Reference number 116610LV. Introduced in 2010 and discontinued in 2020. Cracker of a watch with 40 millimeter. One of the best divers out there and a watch I am currently wearing, which is, by the way, may I add, for sale. We'll put a link in the description because we from Pride and Pinion advise you to buy from Pride and Pinion. Why do they call it the Green Money Rolex? I don't know, I just, I saw it and it's green and it probably wasn't cheap. That's Rolex. The last couple of months you've seen the Rolex Submariner Hulk shooting up in price with about three to four thousand US dollars. It's been discontinued a couple of months ago and there's an incredible hype around the watch. I'm f***ing hungry. This was actually my grandfather's watch and he'd hawked it to get enough dough together to start a little pharmacy. Bama Merche is, by the way, one of the oldest watch brands in the world. Cool watch to have, not really to wear. It's not something I would wear. Sentimental value is always more important than any form of financial value. Don't ever forget that. And then he got busted for uh, filling scripts at that pharmacy for people who were, uh, who were forging their doctor's signatures. Criminal watch, F***ing love it. So, I mean, really there's a lot of shame on this watch. There's no shame. But uh, I got it for a song. I love a suit game, like a suit game is on point. Ben Stiller gave me this watch when we wrapped Tropic Thunder. Ben Stiller is trying to take the piss out of Iron Man. Unacceptable. Ben Ross, founded in 1992. It's a French watch brand, which I, by the way, respect to a certain point. I think they're unique. They've done things that other watch brands didn't do. The case they have here is all inspired on, of course, aviation. They've done something unique, which I praise Ben Ross for. The only point I am struggling with is that they use generic movements from ETA and Salida. These same movements can 
be found in, for example, Longines for half that price. I just think it's not that much value for money. Last and certainly not least, that's a Patek Philippe. That's the dog's bollocks, 5712. One of my favorite Nautilus has ever produced. One of the thinnest sports watches you can buy from one of the most incredible watchmakers. No wonder that this watch goes double retail. My missus got me this watch. I need to find myself a missus on Tinder that is going to buy me a watch like that. I'd say this is easily the most glamorous watch man can have. Watch game, completed it, mate. That is one of those watches where you get just so much respect. It's when she first gave it to me, I said, did you get me a Seiko? What is this? It's my birthday. Day, but I've grown over time to realize that it is an extremely classy and desirable watch. And also, I did not want to incur her wrath by talking shit about a Patek Philippe. You don't talk shit about a Patek Philippe, indeed, no. Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. I'm a big, big fan. A very small, very modest, but incredible watch collection right there.